Hello and welcome to our tutorial about the Intermotive Programming Manager for the Intermotive Download Manager. Aaron West, a product engineer at Intermotive, is here to teach us how to use the programmer. All right, I'm going to talk about the Intermotive Handheld Programmer. Uh, what you'll need to program is a, the device to program. Here I have a PRPC. Uh, the Handheld Programmer, which is this tablet here. The Intermotive Programming Cable. Uh, along with this uh, USB to micro USB adapter. Uh, the cables that you'll receive will have this adapter key shrink to the cable and a uh, power source. Here I'm using the wall wart, um, but this can just be a vehicle. All right, so when you boot up the handheld programmer, you'll see the desktop just like this, and the programming utility will boot on start. So this is the um, programming utility for the handheld programmer. As you can see, we've changed the layout to help um, make the programming process intuitive to the user. So at the top, you can see we have a setup note which instructs the user to have the cable plugged into the, to the tablet and the device to program before opening the GUI. However, if you did not have the cable plugged in, then you could hit uh, the refresh button to detect the, the COM port. So right now you can see from the drop down there's no COM3. If I plug this cable in, and then hit the refresh button, You can see it auto detects COM3 and selects it. So say so we selected our COM port and now we want to load a file down to a module. So the first step after selecting the COM port is to select the file type. By default it'll boot up with a configuration file type selected. And we can move on to step three, which is select the actual configuration file to load. So automatically the drop down box is populated with the configuration files that are in the root directory. Right now I only have one configuration file in there which is FlexTech SDK002. I select that file to load and the next step is to simply press load. Once you press load the GUI prompts you to now power the module. So the device to program. Once power is applied to the module, the GUI and the module will sync up and load the configuration. If the configuration load is successful, the status will display done. So say now that we've loaded a configuration down on the module, we want to verify that that config has actually been loaded. That is done by performing what we call a git. So if we go back to step one, we've already selected our COM port, which is three. The next step is to press Git. It then prompts you to power the module. You power the device to program. It'll sync up and display the data, which is the bootload version, the app code version, the hardware ID, the product ID, and the configuration loaded, which matches the configuration I just loaded. We're not going to save this configuration now. And that's it. It's a simple GUI. It's portable and uh, makes it easy to go from bus to bus and program configurations. Thanks for watching. For more information, call 1 800 969 6080 or visit us at www.intermotive.net.